Hi, my name is Jose Anthony, uh, and I play Martin Verdu in uh, the feature film movie De Lection, directed by Joseph Espinosa. So I first uh, heard about this project um, after working with Joseph uh, on a previous short film. I auditioned for him. Uh, someone, someone recommended that I audition for a project he was doing, and I had a short part in that movie. And he, uh, we met up a few months later to discuss the possibility of doing another film. Uh, gave me the script, gave me the rundown. Then I get home, and then I read it. And then I think it's trash, like everything else. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't mean that as far as the script goes. I start putting myself in it, and uh, a lot of the times I don't see myself as the character. So then I start the discovery process as soon as I read it for the first time. And then I found out that uh, I had a lot of similarities with Martin. And I, uh, I felt like it hit home as far as uh, discovering who one is. And I, and I think we all, we all uh, uh, try to achieve that, trying to discover who it is. And it, it could be through any avenue of, of, of artistic direction for anybody. It could be photography, drawing, writing. For me, it happens to be acting in front of the camera. My personal process for creating a character um, it's, it's usually last minute, and it doesn't mean that I'm lazy. Uh, it's just hard for me to really find out who he is until I, uh, I'm on set with my counterparts, or if I'm a, a wardrobe, you know, if I'm, if I'm have a certain look. Uh, I like to have a certain demeanor based on where I'm aiming for. And uh, with Martin, I uh, had just let my hair grow out, and I was gonna cut it. So I figured that I, I was gonna work with that. I, I try to do a process through the film where he starts getting more um, uh, uh, unkept, like his hair starts becoming more unkept, the more he starts losing his focus and his control. He's very uh, tight knit at first, and then there's a lot of loose ends that come towards the end of the film, uh, which, which I, I acclimate with my hair, with the looseness of my hair. And not to mention, I, I, I always have this superhuman strength when I put on cowboy boots. So I thought a uh, small town vibe, Martin should probably have some cowboy boots and they kind of stiffen me up and stiffen up the character. So a lot of the similarities that I, that I found with Martin and myself was uh, that there was a bit of cockiness to him uh, and, and then he couldn't handle something big in his life. Like he was about to mess up the biggest thing that he, he, he had to, to, date, to date at that time, which was the case. Uh, and he was overzealous, like he, was, he, he, he thought he, he was invincible. Uh, and then there's a reveal there that, that hits home, uh, that, that's unexpected. And he finds out that he wasn't on top of his game. And uh, I could relate that through personal experience, just, uh, just in life, without getting specific, just generally in life. Uh, when you're a young Latino man, you, you, you're pretty cocky. There's a machismo that goes with it. And then uh, life shakes you up. And then you become a little bit more vulnerable. And it's not a bad thing. There's actually, there's power behind vulnerability. That I favor, that's the best part for me, is definitely the process, is the audition, auditioning, the rehearsing, the character development, uh, and it's, it's one of those things that I, I like to throw it out the window because you can't put something down on stone and then expect to go to set the next day. You gotta be able to discover things. So one of my, one of my favorite things is discovering on set who he is as he's saying the words with, uh, with, uh, with the counterpart or with anybody, one of his colleagues. And um, I, I, I love the idea of, of uh, finding something midway through a scene. Like in my head, I always I have an inner dialogue and, and I'm screaming like a little kid inside when I, when I sit there and say, okay, here he is. Uh, well, one of the best parts to any collaboration is, uh, is uh, artistic point of views from all aspects, whether it's uh, uh, the director, the writer, the producer, the actor, the makeup people, everybody, uh, the location scout, everybody when they come together and their ideas uh, uh, play out in, in the end product of the film. One of my things that I uh, enjoy working with Joseph is because uh, he's, a, he's a, a Mexican filmmaker, but he doesn't make Mexican movies. And I feel like ethnic, eth ethnic filmmakers uh, try to do something that's part of their ethnicity. And, and I don't think that's, that's a, a fair judgment. I am a Latino actor, uh, so obviously my character is Latino, but I don't like stereotypical uh, Mexican characters or Mexican filmmakers, like there's there's, there's like a, the horizon is like a broad horizon of what you could you could you know, uh, 
Joseph can direct the next Avenger movie, you know, and he's not going to have a Mexican superhero in it just because of it. He might have Mexican music in it, but that's, that's, that's different. And um, I, I love supporting my Latino filmmakers and I, I support them 100%. Uh, so w one of my, my uh, favorite parts about being an actor is the ability to storytell. Um, I think it's a, it's a lost art. Uh, I think we all have stories to tell, uh, and it comes from the imagination, and sometimes it comes from experience. Uh, the story was a classic style whodunit, suspense. Like, you're supposed to be questioning everything that you see, and, and I think that's the point. And then at the end of it, uh, either you reveal, or you discover, you reveal something. Uh, you knew it before, you wait to the movie, and it ends. Uh, but also, there is a, there is a, 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 po a feminine power behind uh, uh, the film. Uh, there's a, there's a, a female chief that was originally supposed to be casted for a male, but, but the female actress portrayed it so well that it was changed. And there's a couple other uh, uh, feminine, uh, I don't want to reveal too much about the story, but there's a couple of uh, power plays that comes behind that. And I got daughters, so I'm all for uh, women power. Oh man, that's kind of, that's a hard one. It's a hard one. There's so many like I was talking about earlier, the whole process is what excites me. You know, once uh, I, I'm, I don't make it a habit, but I try not to see myself after a finished product because I, I experienced it. And, and it doesn't matter what the outcome is at the end. I, I went through the whole process and I experienced it. But my best time on set is always seeing and hearing everyone laugh. Even if it's a serious scene where we have dead bodies and when we cut, and we don't have to be too serious. We can all just joke around. Uh, I, I like making uh, jokes with the cast members and see if I can throw them off their game. And uh, there's some savvy actors out there who dish it back to me. And, uh, and it's okay. It's like a ping pong game of back and forth. And I think that's the kind of energy you build up offset. So when you're on set, you can feed off each other and go back and forth. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, at the, by that shot, I was, I was pretty tired and worn down, and I think the, the, the fact that me and the Hunter character were going physically back and forth and my, my blood boiled, I, I, I think there was a frustration with uh, my character, with what he was uh, unraveling at the time, and also me personally being frustrated with uh, the discovery of the character. And that was a legitimate fuck to to uh, myself and the character, and I thought it would be cut. Like I, it, I thought they would just wouldn't make the editing, the, the editing, uh, or make the complete edit and end up in the editing floor. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so that was probably my best acting of the whole film. <laughs> uh, so uh, another thing that I, I love working with Joseph is uh, the the freedom to get creative. Uh, he doesn't feel his his scripts are set in stone. Uh, and we can feel free to adjust as needed. Uh, and that's where I start discovering with not only me as the actor reading the lines, how would I say them, but how would Martin say it? And there's a lot of things in the, in the character that he wouldn't normally say something that was written on paper where he's doing it um, uh, in, in action, in person. Uh, and a lot of, the, a lot of the, my, my colleagues and my co-stars, they, they, they think that I'm a bit uh, pretentious about it because I do that and I actually try to do it for the sake of the film like for the benefit of the script and uh, and the character as well I, and I also like to keep them on my on their toes I like to I, I don't like um, when it's something's too stagnant and uh, sometimes you you've rehearsed it and programmed it in your head so much that you have to fight the ability uh, uh, or, or not the ability but you have to fight what's being challenged or what's being put up to the plate and uh, I, I, I feel like at the end of it, they, they understand, or my co-star understood what I was aiming for, and it wasn't to sabotage her performance or my performance or anybody else's. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're, we're acting, we're pretending, we're kids, having fun. And uh, I, I don't like to get too serious about something. I have to have some leeway. Uh, so I, I come from a theater background, and uh, I learned in theater that, uh, especially in live theater, uh, there's nothing that you should expect the unexpected and sometimes it's purposely sometimes it's a technical aspect but it's not like in film where you have to cut uh, so when uh, Joseph gives me the ability to to adjust or maybe uh, 
purposely throw off another actor to see if we can get a certain emotional reaction to it. Uh, I love I love that because uh, I, once again, I feel like we're playing, we're playing pretend. Uh, let's see if we can uh, stir them up a little bit. Uh, and it's for the sake of the, of the, of the film or the story. It's almost like method acting, but without, without it necessarily being method acting. It's just, just trying to see if you can rowdy up some other kind of a, a, of a phys physical reaction or maybe an emotional one that only the camera or the viewers might catch. Uh, the, the last day on set um, was, was a relief uh, to get to that point. Uh, it, it takes so much, so much scheduling to gather everybody around, find a location and to get, you know, get, get an independent film uh, work done. Um, and I had put, I'd, I'd been in a lead before, but never for a, a, a feature, it's always been a short. And the longevity of the character was something that I was putting myself to the test. So by the time we actually got to the last day, uh, we were relieved for sure because we've completed the project and it's always great to start, uh, to progress and then to finish. But we also lost a, a crew member that weekend, um, Eggy, and I actually wanted to cancel because I thought it'd be uh, unfair to the project. But thankfully, Joseph decided to go against it. And I feel like that energy helped us seal the whole thing together. Like, uh, the, it, it wasn't really an emotional breakdown character scene for me, uh, but uh, it was, a, it was a, um, what is that saying? Um, a, a bittersweet, it was a bittersweet thing to it. And, uh, you know, I'm a, be, I'm a believer that the show must go on and that's regardless of what it is. Uh, you could be across the country somewhere and you can have a family member pass away. Your commitment to the film and your commitment to the project means a lot. You might need a breather or something, but at the end of the day, the show always must go on. Well, I mean, honestly, uh, I don't know how many films I have to be in to finally get a fucking t-shirt. Like, I mean, this guy keeps bringing me on and bringing me on and, uh, you know, it's summer, so I wanted a muscle shirt. Didn't get one. Now it's winter. I'm thinking a hoodie would be nice, but <laughs> uh, it's, it's, always, uh, it's always great working with like-minded uh, individuals, like I said, and one of the things I'm impressed uh, with this crew is their tightness, you know. Uh, I call Joseph a kid, and it's no disrespect just because I'm, I mean, I'm old enough to be his dad. I got kids his age or older, uh, and I don't like to put an age uh, or restriction on people because I know 38 year olds that shouldn't be drinking just because they're over 21. And I know guys under 18 that can hold themselves together and have responsibility because it takes a lot to be able to function uh, normally with everyday life and then to go out for your dreams and then to go out on a low budget and then to produce it yourself and then to get involved. Uh, everybody can do it for sure. I understand that. But not everybody can keep doing it. Like we can all strike once, but not everybody can keep, can, not everybody can keep striking. And uh, here's to striking more. Uh, so, uh, uh, as for me this year, um, working on this movie was definitely great for my, for my, my emotional well-being, for my soul, because it got me a chance with all the pandemic and everything that's been going around. A lot of projects shut down for me. I, uh, I had a one-man show, or I have a one-man show called Tonio. Uh, we launched it last year at the Las Vegas uh, Little Theater, and it won. It won the, the best of for the, the entire festival. We were, we were launching in Hollywood in June and New York in October, but everything canceled. So right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm writing a script. Instead of presenting it as a one-man show, I'm writing a script on that. And uh, there's two short films that I'm working on. One is uh, uh, My Yoga Mat by uh, Michael Mon Montero. He's a great filmmaker. And uh, Feliz Navidad with uh, Angel Contreras. Uh, we've been pushing them back because of the pandemic, but uh, hopefully in January 2021, we're gonna launch those projects and give us something to look forward to. And, um, but as of now, I'm just trying, to, just trying to stay sane enough so we can get past this and we can uh, do what we love to do. And I really appreciate your guys' time and thank you for having me, this was fun.